I am so excited because I am adopting two bangled kittens. So we already got the carrier right here. We got the blanket inside. Now guys, we have a two hour car drive. This is the moment you all have been waiting for. <gasps> Hello. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, in today's video, I am so excited because I am adopting two bangled kittens. Now guys, if you have no idea what a bangle kitten looks like, well, this is what they look like full grown and this is what they look like as kittens. Now these cats are absolutely gorgeous and they are actually exotic cats. Now the breed bangle actually is a domestic cat and an Asian leopard cat. Now the Asian leopard cat is where this cat gets its spots and the domestic cat is is where it gets its size. So these cats don't get very big. They are actually the size of a regular house cat. And we are picking up two sisters today. A little bit up north, so we have a little traveling to do. But before we hop into today's video, I need to give you all an update on my axolotl tank. So here is my axolotl tank now, guys. It looks absolutely amazing. Now this is what it looked like before. And just look at the upgrade. So I added another little hideout right here you can see. This little axolotl is hiding in there and it is a perfect tank for this little guy. We moved some of the rocks around. We moved that plant around right here that is on that wood. We added some little plants right here, some fake plants in the back, and some actual real vines throughout this tank. Now you can see this little buddy, he loves it. Do you like your tank? I, I, I think you really do. So I already fed this little guy some breakfast today. He has some little pellets right here. So we're gonna need to siphon this out today, but we're gonna do that a little bit later. But you can see he's very alert. He's very active and he thinks he's gonna get a treat. So we're actually gonna go give him some blood worms. So let's go defrost them. All right guys, so we got the blood worms defrosted. So we're just gonna take a giant handful like so. And we're gonna try to hand feed this little guy. So hopefully it doesn't disperse everywhere. But we're putting my hand in. All right guys. Let's see, he's eyeing it. All right, here we go, and three, two, and. Are you gonna grab it, buddy? Get it, get it, get it, get it. Ah. Oh, and he got it. You can see he just did a giant chomp right there and he is swallowing it. So let's try to grab the rest of it and see if he wants to eat it. All right, guys, let's grab the rest little chunk right here. I'm just gonna go ahead, put my hand on in. Here you go, little buddy. You want it? Want it, want it, want it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and there he goes. He's chomping on it again. So we're just gonna go on ahead, take the rest right here, fill it up with a little water, and just go on ahead and pour it on in. And he'll definitely get to that a little later, and he is definitely one happy little axolotl and his little full belly. Now with axolotls, they should only be given bloodworms as treats ever so often, and their main diet should consist of little pellets just like this. Now you don't have to get this exact brand, but any pellets for any axolotl is great to make up their main diet. All right guys, so I have brought Delano here for the adventure. So we're stopped getting gas right now, and Delano, are you excited I'm to pick up these kittens? I'm super excited. So we are both very, very stoked. So we already got the carrier right here. We got the blanket inside. Now guys, we have a two hour car drive to complete. So we have, we have a lot of time on our hands to make it there. So guys, I'll catch you all once we pick up the kittens. All right, so we are T minus five minutes away, and we have been driving for so long, right Delano? Oh my gosh, it's like the longest ride of the longest car ride, I mean, this feels like it's been taking forever to get here, and I am just so excited to see these baby kittens, because it's definitely worth it. Wouldn't you say that's definitely it's definitely worth it's, the car drive? It's definitely gonna be worth it. Yes. Really so yeah, guys, I am super excited to see these baby kittens. All right, guys, we just picked up the two little kittens. So we have them in here, and they are not liking being outside. Now, these cats have been inside their entire lives, so they're not happy. They're kind of freaking out, but this is the moment you all have been waiting for. <gasps> Hello! So we have two sisters right here. We have this little baby right here in a purple collar, and just look at her patterns, guys. She is so beautiful. Hi, Mama! You are so gorgeous. Now you guys can't see her that well because it is pretty dark outside, but we're gonna go on ahead and get the other one out. Hello, so this one has a pink collar. I know, it's okay. So look how gorgeous her patterns are. You're safe, you're okay, baby. Oh my goodness, you're okay. All right, we're gonna put you back. All right, 
you guys go to sleep for the car ride. So guys, these babies are absolutely precious and I can't believe that I have a Bengal kitten. I mean, isn't this crazy, Delano? It's super crazy. They are so adorable. So guys, I'll see you all once we make it back to my house and get these babies settled. One eternity later. So guys, we made it back to my house and here are the little kitties. They're getting to know the new environment they're in. Now we're gonna be keeping them in my room. We're actually gonna be setting up a cat tower here and a bunch of cat things so these babies Babies have a lot of enrichment. Now I'm going to be keeping these cats solely indoors because these cats are not meant to be outside. I mean, look at these babies. They are absolutely precious. So we're going to we're going to unzip this and let them out and see what they do because this is a totally new environment, new smells, new everything. So, hello. You want to come out? Do you want to come out on your own? So here we have the purple collar coming out and the pink collar coming out as well. They are sniffing around. They are getting used to their new home. Oh, are you gonna, are you gonna go out? Oh, and there she goes. What are you doing? You can see they're pretty skeptical. They have no idea where they are, but they're definitely gonna get used to it once we give them a couple days to adjust. And you can see right here that the previous owners gave me some kitten food right here, some canned kitten food. But of course, we're gonna have to head to the store and get some extra because that definitely is not enough. Hi, baby. Look how gorgeous you are. So now you can really see in the light the rosettes on this beautiful baby right here. I mean, just look at that. You're so adorable. Guys, you can see that this little baby is making herself at home. She is just absolutely cleaning herself and just getting nice and cozy. You can see this little girl right here. She's still sniffing around. She's still a little skeptical. Now, if we take a look at her, now we just saw her rosettes, but you can see that this little girl right here, her rosettes are a lot more prominent. Now this right here is the runt. Now if I bring them close together, you can see that this little girl right here is a lot smaller than this little baby right here. So we're gonna let them do their thing. You can see they're cleaning themselves. They're getting used to their new environment. And we are gonna set up the room for these little babies. So we got their food and water bowl set up. We got their blankie from home, all nice and settled in this little hammock. And we also got the little robot right here. Now they've already used it about once. I think this little guy right here already went pee and already went poop. So that is an amazing sign that they know how to use the litter pan and that they're getting used to it because you can see this is very tall so for these little kittens to be able to get in here is great so they know where the litter pan is but we do have to fill their food bowl up with some food now of course we're gonna be getting them different kitten food tomorrow we're gonna head to the store but we're just gonna go on ahead and pour this on in all right all right we're going now mind you we have two kittens so we're just gonna give a little more and there we have it. We filled up their food bowl. Guys, do you want to come eat? We got some food in here. Are you hungry or thirsty, little buddy? Are you hungry or thirsty, girl? So you can see she already found the food and she is munching and she is crunching away. Is, is that good? All right, we'll, we'll, we'll let you eat. Okay, baby girl. So guys, of course these little babies need a lot more enrichment. So we already went on Amazon and we ordered a bunch of stuff. So the first thing that we ordered is a water fountain that actually is a filtered water fountain. So these babies are going to be getting top-notch water. And then we got some bowls right here. Now the thing about these bowls is they're actually low bowls. Now if you don't get low bowls, it actually can stress out their whiskers. And they could start losing their whiskers. If you look, you can see the bowl is kind kind of on a slant. Now the reason it's on a slant is because it prevents these babies from having any spinal problems, any back problems from bending down and trying to eat in a regular cat bowl. Now the next thing we ordered is a giant cat tower right here that these babies are absolutely going to love. It's completely fluffed out. It has a bunch of different levels and they are going to love this. We got a pack of toys right here. We got a scratching post with a little tree on top. So it kind of looks like a mini palm tree. And then we got more cat toys right here. So these babies are gonna go absolutely crazy for this. So the only thing left to do is wait for all of this to arrive. Guys, look how adorable. Now these babies are completely snuggled up. They're settled in and they are just so pretty. Precious. I mean, they are so exhausted from their long journey today, traveling in my car for about two and a half hours. These babies must be so exhausted. But guys, that is going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, picking up my new 
Bengal kittens will give this video a big thumbs up and guys comment down below a name for these two precious little babies right here and if I like your name I'll shout you out in the next video now guys if you want to see me setting up all of their new stuff that is on the way to my house and these little babies growing up what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel in the link down below